This is a mother toad, and these are her babies. From a human point of view, what we're seeing here is strange and disturbing. You may be wondering, is the mother toad dead? Did her babies kill her? Actually, she's perfectly healthy and very much alive. And the babies popping out of her skin are not killing her, they're just being born. Some toads are born this way, out of the skin of the mother toad's back. Specifically, Suriname toads, also known as Pipa Pipa toads. So, why are the baby toads born through the skin on their mother's back? And in what other ways is this creature strange? You know, not very many mothers describe pregnancy and labor as easy, but the Suriname toad can claim that it's terrible for her skin care. On the other hand, it's also a kind of exfoliation, because she sheds the layer of skin on her back that the babies come out of as they're born. Mother Suriname toads incubate their eggs inside their backs. During mating, the male toad fertilizes the 60 to 100 eggs that are released by the female toad. As the male toad grabs onto the female toad, they both do somersaults in the water. The female releases some of her eggs when she's on the top of the somersault, and the male fertilizes them, then pushes the eggs against her back. The male stays on top of the female for up to 12 hours, holding the fertilized eggs against her skin. The mother's skin grows around the eggs, forming pockets. These skin pockets keep the larvae safe while they develop. The larvae grow into tadpoles. This process takes between three to four months. Then, the little toadlets come out of their mother's skin. None of this is harmful to the mother, and what you're seeing is perfectly natural for Suriname toads. After the toadlets are born, the mother toad sheds the top layer of skin on her back, and then she can do it all again the next time she mates. But Suriname toads are unusual for many reasons, not just for the way they give birth. While sexual activity can be vigorous in all species, the Suriname toad is the only creature who regularly does somersaults right in the middle of mating. Well, the Suriname toad and Willie Nelson while they do surface for air, these toads can hold their breath underwater for an hour at a time. And though they may find each other attractive, Suriname toads are not known for their good looks. With their flat bodies and skin flaps, these toads kind of look like brown leaves. Those skin flaps extend over their upper lips, chins, and jaws. If you touch them, their skin feels smooth and slippery even though they're covered in bumps that look like warts. And Suriname toads don't sit like other toads. While frogs and toads normally sit up on their front arms, Suriname toads lie down with their arms and legs splayed out. These toads eat small fish, crustaceans, and worms, which they catch with their long fingers and then stuff into their wide mouths. Mm. Growing their babies on their backs and doing somersaults while mating, that's what Suriname toads do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.